On our stage this week, how Vibes Cartel's 2010 hit single class. Everybody up the arms, so get my class. Moved a young man from the streets of Spanish Town to proud owner of one of the most popular stores for clerks in Kingston, Jamaica. Yo, job cap. The young man, who is also a music producer based in the UK under the name Drop Top Records, tells his side of the story for the first time exclusively on our stage. Also coming up, producer turned artist Dane Ray brings new artist Akina Dirt Free and their latest release. Top 10 trending songs and more are all coming up. Welcome to the show everyone. I am Winford Williams. We'll be right back. On stage with Winford Williams, so much more than entertainment. And we're back now with Guinness Top 10 Trending Songs in Jamaica for this week. Governor with one matic kickstarts our countdown at number 10. Put a trust in a people, you're dead quicker. Yeah. Me and my dogs, I'm alone up on the location, so my enemies are get picture. At number nine, it's Skilly Bang with So So, so, so Badness. East side, So So Badness. Yeah, yeah, So So Badness. So So Badness, no fear nobody. Chronic Law's Rolling Calf is not going anywhere and is this week's number eight trending track. Rolling Calf, not here. People are running a ball. Yeah, so we go on, but I don't want to start. And no doubt, it's Quash at number seven. Coyote has an asset at number six. While starting off our top five, it's intense with poison. Ritical with Where I'm From is number four. If you know where I come from, tell me about it. And Chloe with Have Mercy is number three. The journey continues with 450, whose hit single has made its way back to the penultimate spot on the countdown. And at number one this week, an artist who should be on top of the world right now. It's Silk Boss, who shares his life story. Now, artist producer Dane Ray joins us in this segment for two big reasons. One, he's introducing a new artist who goes by the name Akino Dirt Free. And he's also introducing a video and a song that we might be hearing for the first time. You and I. Gentlemen, welcome. Bless up. Bless, bless up, sir. Okay, so let's start with the, the, the newcomer. <laughs> Can you take it away and just tell us about your, you're a new artist. Um, yeah. Tell us how you got here. Yeah, so from 2017, we start applying some pressure, we drop a mixtape and just from that, you know, just try to stay as consistent as we can stay, you know? Yes. Just music, music, music. At first, we never did a drop, no visual, you know, so you couldn't tie a face to the thing. Yes. You know, but I always I get good reaction in the street. Yo, I get a bad Ray Ray, you hear about him? But now, we learn the thing and start put some visual to it, add a face, and just there you now and see it, you know, manifest. But who are you before 17? You know, say, it's just a normal, you just a cut some ear though. You know, but you were, still, you were still at it? Yeah. Searching to yeah. be in music? Yeah, man, something I always want to do, but, you know, we just never really take the time and say, yo, man, put a plan together and do the music something, you know? Okay. But then we just come up with a plan, quit the job, 
and just had the music full time, isn't it? So those initial efforts were under Akino? Akino music. Okay, so why did you add Dirt Free to, to your name? I'm a, uh, that adjusts my movement, as if we have a whole movement uh, uh, go on with my thing, you know? Yes. Dirt free lifestyle, you know, we have merch and... Clean. Yeah. Like your shirt. Like the shirt, as if we see what I go on. So, okay. it's a whole movement. The dirt free thing is a whole movement. Even upon IG, you have the youth, them start add it on them name. Mm -hmm. Whatever dirt free, whatever dirt free, you know? Yes, and my thing just say, Aki in a dirt free How box. does it relate to dirt box? Any relation? No, because we've been there a long time with the name. We just never really have the notoriety, is it? Okay. Yeah. The dirt free, it's kind of suggesting that you're not into no dirt business. <laughs> no, too no, clean no, for really. that. No, <laughs> really. We would have said that. We're just kidding. We would have said that. Anyway, so, so Ray, to, over to you, sir. W what happened to you since your last appearance here? Well, you know, I was overseas doing a lot of recording for myself. Um, working with Akina, working with some international artists, mm -hmm. with labels like Poem, program over everything. Me and Steph London been in the studio several times, you know what I mean? I released a song with Popcorn and Skilly Bang, and Skilly Bang um, EP. I'm working on my EP, mm -hmm. you know? The video with Akina is out now. You see me? Out so, and clean. Yeah, out and clean for the girl. So, you know, you think got right now, we just put in the energy and I shoot a bag of video. Uh, but t talk a little bit about why you're producing it. What's the relationship here between you and um, Akim? I come from Ochi and yes. people always hit me up and say, yo, Dane listen to artists, listen to artists, millions of people that come with the territory. So um, somehow one of my cousins them link me and say, yo, listen to that song and the song is crazy. I never remember the artist's name. Down the line now, somebody introduced me to him in person and we make the connection and him energy right and him did a bag of freestyle on his spot. So we decide to say, yo, you know? Yes. You might, you might have a big future, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, so, uh, but where would you say it is now? He's just told us where he is, but in your view as a producer, where do you think he is now in terms of his, his growth, his readiness, his, his achievement, whatever? You can tell us about where is he now in terms of that quest to be one of the names, the big names know. in dance hall? G, ready right now. If you've never already moved in the On, this, on the cusp? Yeah, man, right now. But and, and the cusp of the boss, yeah. <laughs> would you say? Yeah, man, the G ready right now. I have a, a catalog of song where I'm going to release. And yes. the, the song will drop right now. The like video that we have here now is one of them that you're looking to move him to another level. Yeah, Definitely. man, it's already yeah. a good for YouTube. It's going good already. Yeah, man, yeah, man. views them at over, over 100,000 streams in like a week. In a week. You know? All right, yeah, let's, you know, let's not hold it anymore. Let's take it right as now. Can I see it so me out and clean? clean. Out and clean, dirt free. Easy. <laughs> and then Ray, wow. <laughs> so, whose track is it? Is it yours or is or is so, it? I twice, I was. Yeah, I'm twice, twice, man. Yeah. Yeah. So, your lyrics are your lyrics, your lyrics. We do the chorus lyrics. and a verse, and him do a verse, you know? Yes, and the producer, who's the producer? Yeah, I mean, introduced him, so he's only right, you know? Yes. So, yeah. Much respect for coming and sharing with us. Yeah, yeah, we look forward to you coming back when you make some progress here. Definitely. Yeah, so, we are forward back when we have the artists sung in the street. All right. Well, and Ray, well. you have many reasons to come yeah, back. Man. You have a big producer now. <laughs> sit yeah, I want to hear this so, one. We will see. But we are watching us still, you know. Anyway, <laughs> gentlemen, thanks for coming. Enjoy yeah. the rest of your weekend and your lockdown and what have you. All right, so there you have them in this segment right here on our stage. Dirt Free and Dane Ray. Stay with us, still to come. The untold story of how cartels hit single class. Everybody off the arms, so we get my class. Moved a young man from the streets of Spanish town to successful businessman and music producer. You don't want to miss that. Coming up next. On stage with Winford Williams, so much more than entertainment. 
the story of Vibes Cartel's 2010 hit single, Clarks. Revitalizing that UK shoe brand has been widely reported all over the globe. This, as the song echoes throughout the global reggae dancehall space and even some mainstream markets, selling out store stocks along the way, including across Jamaica. Yet there are stories around this landmark commercial moment in Jamaica's music that were never told. Like the one about how the brand's comeback in Jamaica moved a young man from the streets of Spanish Town to owning his own Clark store in Kingston and a successful music producer. The young man is Ron Maledo, AKA Drop Top, who is right now right here on our stage to tell his story for the first time, exclusively. Drop, sir. Big up, Mr. Wilfred. Blessed love, man. A pleasure to have you here. So let's start with what was life like growing up as a kid? Very rough and on. Grow without no mother, no father. Just my grandmother. Okay. Yeah. And that was in the parish of Clarendon? Yes. At what stage of your life did you move from Clarendon to Spanish Town? More 13, 14. Yes? Yeah. Okay. And at that time? It, learning trade at the time. You were learning yeah. trade? Yeah. So what trade did you start, start with? The mechanical work. Yes. Auto mechanic. Mm hmm Yeah. But in that, in that time, learning, this, learning mechanic trade, mm -hmm. you never get his apprentice. And apprentice, they don't get paid. Yes. So in that moment when I learned mechanic work and I lived with my uncle in, in Spanish town, mm -hmm. that time he, he not giving me no money now the, now when I learned she not paying me as well. So what I have to do and on and, and Sunday day time I just go drive the earth. Yes. Yeah, when I drive the earth I get five hundred dollars so that. You drive the, the hearse? Yeah. Okay. What hearse? Young young funeral parlor. Yes. In Spanish town. Yeah, because what happened now? So were you, did you get a driver's license? Did no, you have a driver's license? No, but in that time when we learned the trade, Miss Young used to bring our car to that same particular garage, and we're fixing it. So Sunday daytime, lots of dead need to go to funeral home, funeral uh -huh. homes. And in that time, some of them, they don't have a sufficient driver. So because they don't have sufficient driver, they said to me, say, we can, you can come and drive on a Sunday. You get a five hundred dollar. Those time five hundred dollars is big money. Uh oh. So when we get that money now, we use that money for during the week learning trade. Mm -hmm. You get me? So that keep me surviving till I go, me start to know the trade on my own. That so I can get like a work on the side and do something on the side to get a little roast, they call it. So you are driving yeah. The dead. And those times, I'm very afraid. No one afraid like me. But because. <laughs> really? Yeah, but because we survive, we have to just drive, drive the earth. Yeah? Yeah. Forgot you. But, but, I remember one day, the, the, the lady, because when you're driving it, you have a lady who will drive with you as well. Uh -huh. As if they dead turn or anything, when you reach at the parlor, I reach at the funeral zone, then fix it. And she tell me to stop and she's going to get some white rum. But in that time, you have a lot of car was parked by the bar. So I have to park weird on the road and she come out of the car. I mean, just jump out with her and run for her. Come here, say, me alone, not going to stay inside. You get me? God. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, no, yeah. I'm no father, man. So we have to try to survive. Yeah, so, so what happened to your parents? Well, my granny just tell me, say, from me had two months, my mom just come leave me. Dear and gone. Hmm? Yeah. And my father have about 21 of us a year and brother all over. And oh. sister me have all over the country. Mm. You get me? So, yeah. so okay, so the, the mechanic trade for yeah. how long and the, the hearse driving? The mechanic trade and the hearse driving, I do, I do it till I reach England in 2000. Oh, I'm, so, I'm still doing mechanic now. I still have my garage in England. Yes. Yeah. Never stop the mechanic work. Okay, so, so, but you had stopped driving the hearse? Yeah, from the day from 2000. Cause in that time, when we in Jamaica working on the car, them, yeah, that's my build up myself and get a little capture line in garden pen mm -hmm. and cut the road, go over there and build up a little board house and thing and have my garage, same place where my house, where my board house is. Garden pen? Yeah, in garden pen. Them time I have to throw up like a light and. That's in Spanish town, right? In Spanish town. Yes. Yeah. 
So at what point did you meet now Vice Cartel? Well, in that time when we lived in Spanish Town, we used to talk to my, 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 my missus that is Joan, and she lived in Portmore. So when I got to Portmore to, to, to look for her, Vice Cartel, I always write around, write. Uh, all right, so you met him in, in yes. Portmore? Yes. Yeah, How? Well, well, on the part where where they met, where they stay, where my missus live, mm. they used to have a little house where them do them like a music and them thing there with warrior king and all of them, little blocks and all of them. Mm -hmm. So you know, at the same time, every evening, me also, when I finish the work, I come over and just I will advise with them, buy some drinks and just go and build. Mm -hmm. You get me? So DJ love my vibes and everything and we just did it all the time. And so you were hanging with him and, yes. and his entourage? Yeah, 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 definitely. Okay, so, so you get to meet a lot of these guys, like Bounty and them too? Or? Yeah. Uh, yes, when go on, come, go on. Anyone, anyone come and check him? Yes. I get to see them and everything, you get me? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so how, how did you get now to, to the UK? Well, to the UK now, in the same time when I have my garage in, in Garden Pen, the first time you have Lada, you know Lada? Car, mm -hmm. Lada, the car. Yes. Yes, yeah, so in that time, I think I, I'm, I'm, some, someone followed from England. And it's like tw twice of them, they like them rent a ladder from somebody. And then the gearbox, like them, for bring it back like two o'clock the evening. Mm. And when they're supposed to bring it back, the gearbox mash up. And it's like them, so them give the person like a deposit. And the person, I got, I got take them deposit if they know that the gearbox mash up. So if we can fix it and finish it for two o'clock. And I said, no, we can finish it for more quicker than that. Mm -hmm. And he said, that's impossible. And I said, just give me the parts, just for, get the parts, and I'm just do it now. And he said, I'll leave the car, get the parts in Spanish town. And I think I finish the car, and leave it about 9 o'clock. And I pull out the gearbox and finish it about um, quarter to one or something like that, or one o'clock. Yes. And the man said to me, say, I'm in this business for about him. Him is 50, and I'm in, his, in the business for about 40 years now. And he never see a man work on a car but him, so fast, mm -hmm. so quickly. So if me can him have a garage in England, if, him, if me can get the chance to come to England, follow that England, him can make me work with him for life. Yes? And I asked him if I'm serious, and he said, yeah. That's how good you were? Yeah. So that is the reason why it gives me strength. It, it just gives me the, it just, it just uh, encourages me to just work the plain fear money. Cause when he tell me that, I try to sort out the plain fear money. If, if, if I go to England, so I have an auntie over there, and my auntie now, she is the one who, who said, I asked her if she can write an invitation letter to me, for, my, for me to just mm -hmm. make me reach in England and I'm not gonna stay by her or nothing, cause she already did tell me. Say, if you come, you're not gonna stay at my house. So I said, no problem, this man tell me, say, when we reach, I'm gonna work in garage and everything. So is that why I reach in England? Oh, and, you, and he gave you the job when he went? No, no, when I reach England now, that man is 20 years now or 21 years now since I'm in England. And when I reach over there, and that man, I phoned my, my auntie, phoned them, that man, and said to him that, give him the address and everything to forward and link me. Tell today I never see that man turn up. Why? Don't know. Don't, that man blocked the number everything because I probably was lying. He don't never have a garage or nothing. Really? Yeah. So, so you did all of this and actually got got the, the visa to go to the UK, yeah. and then he didn't even answer the phone? Yeah, nothing. So, but, what, so what did you do? But I still respect him for that, because is that why I reach where I reach at the moment. Yes. Yeah, because if he never done that, I wouldn't, I wouldn't reach in England now, in the UK now. When I, when I reach over there, I never have national insurance number or nothing. And when I think I used to suffer over, here, over here, out here, it's over there I suffer that time. Because, oh. because in that time when I reach, I don't have a national insurance number. Mm. I have to start back some cleaning job. And I leave out of here with a trade. I leave, over, leave Jamaica with a trade. And when I reach England, I have to start back all over again because I couldn't get a job because I need national insurance number. Mm -hmm. And I have to do a cleaning job for about, um, about three years before I get a proper job. You get me? Yes. It was all rough and stressful of everything. So, and then you get a job as a mechanic. How, how well did that serve you? As a mechanic? Yes, it changed your life. It made it 
things better, easier for you? Um, how good were you as a mechanic to the, to the British, to your customers in, in the UK? When I, when I get that job with that man to the day, he passed away. That man tell me that no money and not on mechanic work. And I work with him, work with him until one day I faint in the garage and not eating. Not wife eat and not him consuming no food, nothing at all. And don't have no parents again to give me none. Because when I reached the UK, I remember I already tell my, my auntie that I'm not going to stay by him house. And already, she already tell me, she said, I cannot stay there. So I have to call my cousin in Birmingham and tell him I'm coming there to stay. But when I reached to Birmingham, mm -hmm. my cousin, he was a mason. So he leave and gone but every twice a week before him come before him forward and just leave me in the house like that. So I have to just go on the road and just try to hunt it and look it for myself. Yes. And that man never appeared me neither because that man said nothing going on. Mm. So working, working with him, same way, I, been, I get to know people. I know people and them said to me, say, you're a good worker. And them start to give me some job on the side. So when they giving me this job on the side, that's where I'm getting some little money, raising good little money you now and start to put my money to use. So yes. I am save my money and, and keep my money, you get me? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that build me up. Yes, and okay, so, so come back now to the relationship with Cartel and you know the, the, the old story of Clarks. Tell us oh. that story, how you, you move from that now to become a dealer. Real bad man, no muggle in a shot. And when Vice started to do his songs, so where you get a new clock, say daddy? Everybody off the arms, so me get my clocks. Popcorn phone, and, I, and said to me, say, drop that. I see all type of things come around me, because my friend and my girl in Spanish town, most of them did off, you know, over a garden pen. Mm -hmm. Enough of them did off. The wrong thing, and them have them thing, and man kill them, and her. On stage with Winford Williams, so much more than entertainment. How did you get into into Clarks, into selling Clarks? Okay, in that time when we live, when we in England, living in England, mm -hmm. in the UK, what happened? Because Cartel, Vibes Cartel, Black Rhino, all I do, the Gaza crew is my friend, like that same way. Yes. You get Sean Star. So what happened? When me in the UK, all the time when I come in, when I forward in Jamaica, I always just bring back clocks. The, the boss and everybody me just bring back clocks and give. You uh, just, br just bring clocks just and bring give them? Just bring clocks like that, you get me? But, but, but you were struggling. That's when things get better then? When things get better, man. Oh, start and you can come home now, yeah, you can afford yeah. to come home? Yeah, because it never take long for me to get my papers. Huh? Yes. Yeah. So when I can come home, yes. I bring clocks. And when I bring clocks, Back, back home and give them clocks. Yeah, that's five scatter. Do the song. And when five scatter do the song, so where you get a new clock, said daddy, popcorn phone me and, I, and said to me, said, drop that. You see your clocks, I mean, the video, some bad clocks. Them in the video, you know. I mean, I say, yeah. And then everybody start talk about clocks. I mean, I say, well, it look like me have to start sell clocks. Mm -hmm. I just get a place in the arcade. I think I pay $1,000 a week in the arcade, a little star like and I started with the clocks. Which of the it. arcades? The, the downtown the one, or no, the, the one in the, the one, one in Constance Spring, Constance yeah, Spring Road? Constance Spring Road. Yes? Yeah. So you, so, but you, you were still living in the UK? Yes, I was still living. So you got, you got somebody to run the... the my, yeah, my sister, you, I met my sister was running. Yes. Yeah. So that was successful, obviously. Yeah, it was, that, it was going on very good. Car through the whole world, take on to clocks from five scatters to clocks. The whole world, take on to clocks. Right. Yeah. So, so yeah. at the time of doing the song, clocks, yeah. Yeah. you were just bringing the clocks and giving them free. Yeah. yeah. Bridging yeah. them. Yeah. So, so them and over and in Portmore. And all of them just yeah. clocks. And, and, and Cartel gets some a vibe, a, vibe, a vibe around the clocks. Yeah. And when you get that clocks, uh, the clocks, daddy? <laughs> Cartel is a man always, want, always wearing clocks from before that. You know? Yes. Yeah. 
So that's why I always I try to bring clocks because them is the one who always talk about clocks. Yes. Yeah. And them are bringing, bringing. Them always are wearing new clocks, Tyler clocks. I'm just always so such was the, the, the demand for clocks after him do the tune. Mm -hmm. And so you start the business now because people want clocks. Yes. And you know where clocks is, is mm -hmm. made, the yeah. UK. Yeah. So you started to bring in more now on a business level and yeah. open your own store yeah. in the arcade. Yeah. That, well, not a store, a, a, a store, store. A store, like a little yes. store, yeah. And, it, and what happened? It, it go on wicked. It go on very good. Yeah. So now, I used to have a friend named him in Lincoln, and he said to me, say, we, I think we get a store across the road from Premier Plaza. Yes. And he said to me, say, get a store, and I think it's I think about 90,000 or 80,000 for, for the store. So I was saying to him, say, why may I leave from $1,000 up here, $80,000 or $90,000? That no good, and him said, me and him can share it. Me do half, and him do half. And I was thinking about it. And then somebody said to me, say, don't watch that car. The more you spend, sometimes the more you earn. Yes. So I said, I'm going to try it. And then we move, go over there. And yeah, that's when we move over there now. Him said, I cannot manage, and him did leave me on my own. And then, yeah, that's my spice, because my spice was a good friend. And spice said to me, say, me and him can just do the thing, do the, do the clothes, and me do the clocks. But he's not going to put him near my or nothing. And we can just go half and half with the rent. That That's was, Spice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then when Spice said to me, say, I'm going to move out of it, I'm going to leave. Me and my own again. And then that time now, I think them said to me, say, the shop going to sell. So I have to find somewhere to go. And I said, I'm not going to give up this thing, you know. I'm trying to look a place. And all this time, it's just clocks you're selling? Pure clocks, just clocks only. I'm, I have a brother named Mannequin tell me about a place, a rifle, a rent a place. Mm -hmm. And he said to me, he said, 200,000. I said, 200,000. Whoa. I said, I want next mad nuts, things again. And somebody said to me again, so you can get the, rent the complete place and just cut it up and rent somebody. Sublet. Sublet yes. and so forth. So I get somebody else again now and just rent a part for do the phone shop and me do that, that part and go ahead with it. Mm -hmm. And it's going on very good right now, same way. Yes. You got your name called in one of the songs. How did that come about? Well, is all of, well, big respect me have to give to Five Scartel because, and Popcorn because really and truly. Mm -hmm. For going to the Clarks business, when him do Clarks, it pushed me to sell Clarks. Yes. And it, when me doing Clarks, and me I give Clark same way, I just want one of these artists to just say something about me, drop top so I shop, call my name into a Clark's. Yes. Into the, into the, about me with the Clark's business. Okay. You get me? That's what so you mean. Yes, yeah, so I continue, I give and I do what I do, same way good. Me and them have a good relationship, you get me? And I say, boy, I just want one of them to just call my name in a, a song about my Clark's. To make me think, him, him go, go worldwide, you get me? Yes. So in that time now, I check TJ record, and I said, TJ, I go on the boss, can say something about my clocks? Because I need the boss to say something about my clocks now. And I say, TJ give me enough encouragement, big respect to him as well. And I said to him, say, all right, he said, I must get a rhythm. Get a rhythm, and if I get the rhythm and give it to him, I just say, a song come to me. And he just said, to the sock shop, link, job tap. Um, at a cartel? At a Vibes cartel. Yes. Dear Riff. And I say, if you're ugly, I'll come out of the area of that song. And when we get the rhythm, and at the same time, Popcorn say, oh, send the rhythm me advice. When you hear Cartel song, Cranny Glass, I send the rhythm me advice. Mm. Everybody send me advice. You get me? And in that space, in that time, no one, I never go, in the, go into the thing for do a producing thing. I never say, I got, <laughs> want to be a producer. I just don't want them to just call my name into a call me name about my shop, swag shop, so clocks. They just want the promotion. Me just want the the mention, yes. mention. So in that space now, when I see so much people want to jump on the rhythm, and things are going good, and I go on so good, and then after that, now Mr. Johnny want to give me a check. So I say, wait, so that thing is good. So I just start finding some more rhythm. And that so you were, you were credited, you were officially credited as the producer. Yeah. Because you get the rhythm and, and send it. Yeah, but just get the rhythm and send so, it. So who made the rhythm? I have a version in America. America, they send a rhythm to me and say, I must pay him some US for this rhythm. So I just pay him for the rhythm. 
and sent off the rhythm. Yes. And then everybody said the rhythm mad, proper. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that's how you became a producer? Yeah, just that. Just like that? Just like that. So you were credited, and when you see a check, where you will get as yeah. a producer, yeah. you, be, you said, well, uh, this can't make money then? Yeah. And you didn't even think you did anything yeah. that deserved yeah. getting paid? Yeah. Wow. So, so okay. I never tried to get, I never doing this for getting the money or nothing. I just want to think, I just want to talk about the clocks. So it's that's how you clocks. became a producer? Yeah. And, and so what have you produced since that? So did you actually now go to studio and start tell man what you want start yeah, by reading and thing? Yeah, man, last half song, man. Right now we have a new song for Drop With Popcorn where we just do the video in, in the UK the other day. And we have one with Vice Cartel. Right now we have a song with Tammy Lee and La Bass. We are, we are followed up on the album next month as well. See? And, and the boss will tell about when in action we are going. And I beg forgiveness for it in my song. Who? Big song. Tammy Lee. Yes. Yeah, man. I, me, I'll do the, me, I'll do the video of them already and everything. Is what happened now when we're working with these people, with these artists? When I do the song and do the video, I make them tell me when they're ready. I don't rush nothing. I always have something put aside to drop. Right. Mm. I have about seven or six songs put aside to drop. I may have my artist candy price as well. I'm a sign. All right. So let, let us just pause for a bit and, and go to a mashup mm. of some of the songs, some of the music you have produced. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Hey, jump top. You're not for us. I know I'm going to get you me. Yeah, if you want me, don't come at the area. This is the area. Yeah, man, this is the area. Yeah, yeah oh, what girl? Stop watch the girl like criminal. Friend, we sell you out. You are so it go. There's a reason why my name is the unruly boss. Good man, though, easy for fine. No, for them, though. Profit I'm nothing till me slowly provide for my colleagues from a country where your future blurry good life and the tummy. Every life come with pain. Drop top sunshine come up the rain. Best friends turn in at me. That's why you want to see the end of me. All right, so that's it. That, those are some of the, the big tunes produced by this man. So when we say my producer, I'm a real producer, and I think. Come on. Say this thing, you know, we're not stopping, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, determined, not stopping. Get to another level. Yes. They might, every time I get a new song and drop it, I'm dropping it like I just get a song. Like, like me just start in the business. I'm a hungry for it. Yes. You get me? So I just carry it to another level. What I want to follow out of it, if anything were supposed to come out of it, I will see. But definitely, just I carry it to another level. Just I go and do my work. Just I do the work. If I'm supposed to get a Grammy, or I'm supposed to get something, the in, in producer for the year, anything, but me not trying to say, I want that, I need that, you get me? But me just I put it, just I do the work. All right, we take a quick break here. When we come back, I see all type of things come around because my friend, them girl is Spanish town, most of them did off, you know, over garden pen. Mm -hmm. Enough of them did off, doing the wrong thing and them have them thing and man kill them and rare. On stage with Winford Williams, so much more than entertainment. And we're back with our very, very special guest on our show this week, Ron Malado, Drop Top. Talk, talk more about the store story because you're now one of the most popular stores selling clerks in Jamaica. Yeah. How did that happen after that, that, that breakaway from the spice store situation? Well, the more me, I used to get the unusual clocks. Yes. So, so it's like any time you know, no one come and buy my clocks to talk about and people always post it and tag me and them things. So I get my Instagram page as well and just I build, up, I build the thing, I build the thing, you get me? And ask Popcorn to tag me and him tag me. And through Popcorn's I'm on the house, I wear the clocks. Then once I from him tag you, it gone. You get me? Mm -hmm. So. The thing that I build up more and more and more. This, the tone that the, the money now for pay for the place come like nothing because shoes are sell hard. Yes. Them time there, we don't have so much clock store like now. Because now you see beer clock store open now. But them time there's me out of the place away. 
Yes. So you're a supplier in the UK. Yeah. Where did you get your, your talk about that side? You're, you're buying, did they recognize what you were doing and, and did they give credit to Cartel for this, this tremendous a shot in the arm, so to speak, in, in, in at the revival of Clarks in, in Jamaica, beginning in Jamaica and spread even in hip hop and, and across the world, people, people are just buying Clarks yeah. all over the Caribbean, everywhere. Yeah. This, this song, Clarks, and did they recognize you now and give you respect for that? And that now you were now one of the key players in the Jamaican space who made that critical link yeah. with Carter. With nice Carter. Yeah? Definitely. What did they do for you in all of this? What, hap what happened, they said to me, say, they don't um, um, supply the, um, the Caribbean with Clarks. So what they going to do for me? They're going to send me to an a, a, a head office in, in the US. Yes. And, when I, and I can get it from them on a price. What we can get, or we can get it from a good price, a sell back in Jamaica. But they cannot send clocks directly, from you, from oh. direct from UK okay. to out here. Oh, because there's a deal, a regional deal headquartered yes. in the US. In the US. That, I, I suppose, supplies the entire yeah. Caribbean yeah. and South America yeah. and so on. Yeah. So you would have to get your supplies from them. From them. So they say you are to go there yeah. and, and they will give you a price so yeah. you can get a margin, a better margin on yes. this. So what happened now, I phoned them and then tell me what, what and what I'm supposed to bring. So yes. I just get all of the paperwork from Jamaica and what we have with me and everything and fly out there and meet them. In the US? In the US. Yes. And just sort out the thing with them. And from there, so now I can get things from them, just pay my money online and then just deliver. But what happened, even them in the US still don't have certain type of clocks where I still can get in England. Okay. Okay, so some of what is in your store yeah. are exclusive. Yes. And before Vice Cartel do that song about the clocks, he used to get clocks for a good price. And as soon as he do that song, clocks price raise up. And I asked him, why? What happened? And he said, is your friend Vice Cartel? Costly, all this. Mm. Yeah, because people, everyone just want clocks. So in the UK, the it is known, yeah. and, and that what Cartel did, yeah. and people will talk to you about that. And yeah, talk to me about it. Cartel, yeah. see me and Vice Cartel, and photo, I post with me and Vice Cartel, and I post with me and Popcorn, so they have them as the main one. Yes. About, with Clarks. What, you know, the Clarks is over 180 odd years old. Yeah. It's a, it's a, a family business. Family business. And I'm, um, and for, it's interesting how a little Jamaican youth, you know, mm -hmm. just do a song, Bridget. Yeah. And it just blow up the brand. And, and, right. and that blow up sort of pull you into this business that you, didn't, you weren't even thinking of, were yeah. you? Remember, I love my trading as mechanic worker, the auto mechanic. Yeah? Yes. That, is, that started me. And I'm still in it till today. That so you st you're still based in the UK, in Birmingham. and you're still doing your mechanic work, yeah. and, but, and running your store in Jamaica, and you're also producing yeah. music. Yeah. Uh, when did you move to, to this new location where you are now? Central Plaza. Central Plaza, yes. A couple of years now, I think about in four years. Uh, four years or so since? But I used to have a premiere before. Yes. I used to have the arcade before, so I still just local. And I, and I have one in, in Montego Bay as well. Oh. Yeah, in Western Plaza, Shop 18, Arbor Street. So your store is, where would you rank your store with others in Jamaica right now? Well, really and truly, I just know that I started this thing a long time before enough of them, and I'm not going to have competition with them, no, nothing at all, you get me? Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to put it with them, but I know my thing. Your thing some, nice, you're yeah, good. Yeah, I'm a good man. I mean, I mean I'm always going to get some unusual, when them can get sense. Yes. Yeah, when we, like if we, if we drop this month, I can drop it before them get it. Same. Yeah. Speak a little bit about your family. Now, in Jamaica and in the UK, what about your own family? You have a family in the UK? Yeah, definitely. Yes. I got my five kids. Five? Yeah. Whoa. And I, and I, and I also got him about 10 grand people. Ten grand, <laughs> you! <laughs> wow! Yeah. What are you saying, brother? Yeah, man. 
My first, my first son is 30, you know. All of them in the UK? Yeah. When I just got to the UK, I bring up everyone from Jamaica. Okay, so you had kids before you, you went up there? Yeah, I, I get my kids I'm in Jamaica, and I bring everyone to Jamaica. I bring about 21 persons. Oh, you, before you wanna, migrated, yeah. you got your kids? Yeah, just one I get in the UK. Really? Yeah. Didn't I say you that go on as a, as a youngster? Yeah. <laughs> Definitely not. To the point now where you have grads? I live on my own from me about in what you call about 15 or 16. Yes. Yeah. Been through a whole heap of struggle and a whole heap of things, man. If I tell my story, I can't finish right now. A whole heap of things I've been through, man. Yes. No food, nothing at all. Struggling, wicked. In a admit in a hospital for hungerness, man. Mm. Never see somebody, you ever see some, something like that, hear about something like that before. Yeah, man, the gas be, swell me up big like this, man. And you have no, no record of committing any kind of crime? Never. Never. F clean, clean, man. May yeah, everybody good. Yes. Yeah, man, even the artists. But them. you're always working. Always. Never stop work. You know, for me to sleep for eight hours, I have to take a sleeping tablet. You saw my eye black? Yes. Yeah, I mean, I can't sleep. I can't even stay one place. I don't stay one place to watch television like this. I will have to move. Yes. Come here, there's so much thing. Me, my pr promoter, you know, enough for the all-white party I keep in, in the UK as well. You get me? Enough party I keep. Do the, 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 the clerks, do the producing. After, you know, when you're doing producing, you have to in this studio, yeah. right through in the night, waiting on song and everything there, you get me? And yet still not a day, we still have to go to the, the garage. And even Saturday night time, no matter how I how go to a party, Sunday day time, I go to my church. I never stop go to church, man. No matter what time I forward, Sunday morning from a party. Even if I hour my catch or sleep, I just forward at church after. I always go to church. Pay my tithes and offering. Because when I forward from my life, I never dream. So I don't want a bicycle much less. If I have what I have now in my life, you get me? Yes. So I always give thanks and praise to the Father. Yeah? No struggling, I go through, man. So and you feel that like God saved and yeah. helped you along? Yeah. All the way and was always with you, is always, always with you? Always with me, man. I don't see no one, enough time certain things are my back against the wall and it's me alone. I'm a cry over certain things and Father God just open the words for me mm -hmm. and make it happen. That's anything I ask for in life, I always get it. Oh. I just work towards it. Like if I say I want something, I never bad mind nobody for nothing. Because you know, you have, me, have a, me have a thing in my heart when I keep on no say. So when you die or when you go to your grave, you can't carry nothing with you. Know. So I don't see nobody with nothing and grudge them for it, you get me? I always just work for it, I make them comfortable. And them things about me not going grudge no one, man. clean hearted. What do you say to young men in Jamaica? No matter how it's rough, man, that's gone. Homeless, on. like you, like you were. I did homeless and everything, and no matter how it's rough, don't give up, just go on and try. Because enough of the thing that when I try, it just go through in a life. I never I think about it, like even the clerks or the producers, I never have it in my mind, so I want to do it. I still do my mechanic work and I drive my horse and I do a fiddle and I do the thing them, and they just fall in. Yes. And, it, and it just go through. You get me? And I survive out of it and them thing there. So, I could, me, how much parish I'm saying in Jamaica? 14. Mm -hmm. I live in about, about 8 or 9 of them. I live everywhere in Jamaica. All about Naguzet, Spanish town, Montego Bay. One time I live in Haskinish. Lucy, all over me live. Just to survive and go through. And I get to work there. So the, 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 you do the, anything to, yeah, to, to survive? Yeah, not anything. Not anything. When I mean anything, yeah, I mean in terms you of... get me? In, in, yeah. in terms of work. <laughs> <laughs> in terms of legal work. <laughs> yeah, legal work. You get me? Yes. Yeah. So I always had to go and do the things. I'll cement. We do work on site. Yes. You know, you get me? Because we are grew up with no family. I'm mean, a decide. So I'm mean, not thief. I'm mean, not Arab. I mean, nah, I see all type of thing come around me. Because my friend and my girl in Spanish town, most of them did off in a garden pen. Mm -hmm. Enough of them did off. Doing the wrong thing and them have them thing and man kill them and rare. Yes. And that's why I give God thanks for those notes. I mean, lift up and reach out England. So that brother, they will come me and tell me, say, him they will give me a job when I reach out England. And him will give me the job. Right now, I see him shake him and buy him something to. <laughs> yeah, man. Yes. And I take my sister, them, my brother, them, every one of them, I care about England, my cousin. All of them I bring in England right now. And them, them work in my garage. Because oh, I have wow. a garage with them. All of them work. And then go up on them own and them have them married and have them 
them them youth and everything. You get me? Yeah. So I saw the thing going on, but still I go on with the thing. Beautiful. Oh wow. Yeah. Never stop mechanic work. I'm a love it, you know. Yeah, me fix a car in no time, man. Well, you must have been very good at it, yeah, I think. I grew me up car, grew up in, I grew up in a car, man. Yes. Yeah. Well, you know, top the your story is perhaps the most powerful story yeah. ever told here. Enough things, my fam. Enough things. You know, when we reach at the airport, you know, the, a, a, a immigration man asked me one question when I leave. When I tell him to me drive earth, and he said to me, he asked me, I am where, where the, the grill, you know, the, the shine thing on the front of the, the bonnet. So what, what that name? Like, he pull it up and say, what is this? And I explain, I tell him, and he said, OK, and I said, got you. And when I reach, I say, yes, Father God. Me not. That's why I work so hard. Why do you think I work so hard? The separation I have followed from, every day I work, no matter what I have and buy things, just I work like I don't have it. Just like how TJ looked at me and said to me, when you drop a song, why do you think I have so much song? When you drop a song, don't look and I go on like say you have a song and I run with the one song forever. But just drop a song and then look and just go and drop more songs. Just go and, have, just go and drop a song. You get me? I me don't me get one and two songs and I say, yeah, I have a big song. We just easy back. No, I always go on the go and up. And sometimes, you know, Wilfred, this is the next thing I want to say to, you, say to the people, the youth, them out there as well. When the man forward to me and tell me, I lease me a capture land for 7,000 Jamaican dollars. You know that my, I go to my friend where I know and borrow 3,000 from him to make up to my money, to lease a land, to make up a house on it. And if I don't have the money to lease the land, some person wouldn't take that, have that faith, you know. Mm. I have that fear to borrow money to help me, to help lease the land. And I still don't know where the money coming from to make the house and the land. So me, when we get the land, we just looking at the land like this. And I say, I'm my land that I lease. And I think now who we can build something on this mm. without no money. And yeah, that's give you know, a couple of months, man. Nice house with earned and everything upon it, man. And we never tea for it. Yeah. We put in the work for it. We drive the rest of the dopey for it. Be things we go on. Yeah, man, no sleep. Yeah. When I leave and go to England, I leave that house with my sister and my little car I have until I said, no, sell it. Make everything stay. Because when I go to England, sometimes the sufferation make you have to forward. Mm -hmm. Black, you get me? So you see, when I leave England and the sufferation I beat me and nothing I go on for me, I, I sit down one day and cry, living in the in a phone box and I call my sister and say, my sis, I'm coming home, you know, because I can't take them, them sufferation now. I mean, I have me look at Kiara Garden Pen, I me look at board house, I can't forward. My sister called me and said, my brother, me have something to tell you, you know. Me sell the, the car. So I said, where's the money? He said, I use the money. So I said, what happened to the house? He said, I rent it out, but me, the, the coats come back and take back the fridge, because I never have pay for it. And I sell the things then. <laughs> so I said, where's the money? He said, I borrow the money for give it back. So when she tell me that, I drop the phone, man, and slam down the phone box, because them times I don't have the telephone. And I just stood my phone box for about half an hour and had a call. And I cry, man, and say, what am I going to do? I just go back and just build up at myself and say, no, is it? I have to take on it. I just build up myself. And you see, when I build up myself, that's when I buy my first property. Because when I have to hype, you know, I tell myself, I'm going to send for my sister. Because I said, if I never she, I would have another board house of a garden pen there, you know. So she sell out my things and I'm going to reach back to Jamaica. So I just make sure I follow her England. They may start make everybody have a way. Oh. One, one. You know, I get to know my mom now. Yes. And she live in Damid, in that time when we live in Spanish town. And right now, I don't have a grudge in my heart and vex and nothing at all. When I get to know my mom, I see that she don't have it more than so. And I, I make sure, okay. Yeah, because she live in her own house and her own land. And I start all that. Mm. So it's not like I was set to myself, say, yo. She never raised me, she never gave me the breast milk or nothing at all. I'm not going to fix things. I just fix things the same way. And what about your dad? Dad passed away. Good couple of years well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do what I can do. Get me. What, you, what are you aiming for, Top? Well, tell you the honest truth. Before I go into producing, what I did I aim for, I already get it. And I just love music. And through my love music, I just drop big tune. Right now, I'm not, not trying to say, 
me are the biggest producer, me are trying to work for me the producer of the year, or the biggest producer, mm -hmm. or nothing at all. I just love music. And me around the, the gods them where I'm a friend them where a demo a demo a demo carry the, the music on top. I mean every artist good. So me just like Jap song. Anyway, me go me, I can't believe some means a youth are forward and sometimes I see people stop and I say, Jap, give me a picture, give me a photograph. I cannot believe it. So me, if I feel and I say to myself, the Father God, can't believe I made this. You get me? They must be on the next level. I'm big up Birmingham. Yes. Yeah. Well my bridging. I would have a big up to you, you know, from me, you know, and yeah. from on stage crew, you know, Bridget. Yeah. Uh, the, the man in my studio, you know, is highly, highly inspired by your story. Yeah. And we hope those listening around the world, watching this and listening to your story, that they, 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 they will be inspired. And especially, especially those who are poor, homeless. Yeah. Without parents. So many of them out there, my Bridget. I hope you reach them with this story, reach them and can inspire them. Big up your, tell them your story. Big up my story, I shot 22 Central Plaza, halfway tree, a Western Plaza, Montego Bay, in, in shop 18, Arbor Street. And you hear me? Big up to all my family, my friend them, and big up some place. Big up Peckham, Clarendon, or barn, and big up, you hear me? Birmingham said we, we pick them everybody. Oh, yeah, don't know. All right, that's him. That's the man. Simple. Rowan Maledo, <laughs> AKA Drop Top. Yes, go support him at these stores. Yeah. Yeah, go support him. And that's our show for this week. Winfred Williams, on behalf of all of us, thanking you for joining us. Do join us again next week for more right here on our stage. A hey, Drop Top. our video please click subscribe and be on our stage anywhere anytime always